Hi and welcome to the lesson of real analysis and today we are going to solve some problem on uh, convergence sequences. So we have to show that 1 over 3 raised to the power n it's a sequence and we have to show that this sequence converges to 0. So by definition we can say that if fn is a sequence that is 1 over 3n and that converges to 0, then we can say that 1 over 3 power n minus 0 absolute should be less than epsilon. So this is the definition of the convergence. And now if uh, we take the LCM, then we simply have this thing less than epsilon. And we can remove the mod since the inside, the mod is always positive, so it cannot be negative. So we can write one over three power n by removing the mod less than epsilon and then taking the reciprocal changes the inequality sign. So we have three to the power n greater than one over epsilon taking log on both sides to remove uh, n from the power. We can apply the log, natural log. So we have n ln three greater than ln one over epsilon. So we can write in this way. Now we can divide both sides by ln three since ln3 is always a positive number, so the inequality sign will not be changed here because it's positive. Uh, the inequality sign changes if we divide or multiply both sides by a negative number, then the inequality changes, but in this case, inequality will not change because ln3 is always positive. Now we can say that this thing here, what we get is our n naught because in the definition we say that for all epsilon greater than zero there exists some n naught belong to the naturals such that n is greater than equals to n naught implies that the sequence is less than epsilon so now if we consider this thing here and we can see that this thing is uh, defined, it's not infinite at any point or undefined at any point because this ln3 in the div division is positive and one over epsilon. So take epsilon, we can take any epsilon greater than zero. So since this thing is also defined, so we have uh, n naught equals ln one over epsilon over ln3 and here we get the relation that this n is greater than n naught so this satisfies the the, uh, the definition of convergence right so the sequence that you take one over three to the power n is always convergence and it converges to zero as well right because in the question, they ask to show that it converges to zero. Therefore, we subtract by using the definition of the convergence that fn minus l is less than epsilon, and they have given a uh, limit as zero. Now, let's take one more example. Say we have question that we have to show that this sequence, that is a square root of n, plus one minus square root of n, where x belongs to the natural numbers. Oh, sorry, not x, it's n, where n belongs to the natural number is convergent. So we have to show that this sequence is convergent. Now, what we can do here is that we can simply multiply this sequence with its conjugate 
So we can multiply divide with its conjugate to get uh, some simplified form here. So n plus one minus, uh, sorry, positive root n. So in the numerator, we have n plus one minus n over the square root of n plus one plus square root of n, which equals to one over the square root of n plus one plus the square root of n. So now we can say that this sequence here will be lesser than one over the square root of n because one of the element here we are removing and this is a positive element this is adding to this thing so it's bigger denominator so the number whatever we are going to get here will be smaller than this thing and again we know that this is smaller than one over n because n is bigger than the square root of n uh, no sorry not like that okay so it's fine so we have one over square root of n and we uh, know that this uh, one over square root of n converges to zero as limit n tends to infinity so this is a null sequence and we can say that it's a kind of uh, fundamental sequence. So this uh, tends to zero. Therefore, this implies that the sequence that is lesser than this sequence, because this is a greater sequence here, this is a greater sequence than this sequence. So the lesser sequence will also converge to zero. So limit n tends to infinity, a square root of n plus one minus square root of n converges to zero. So the sequence is convergent and the limit of the sequence will be zero. Okay, so moving on in a similar manner, if we take more examples, say we have a sequence that is fn equals r power n so it's a representation of sequence we have to show that this converges to zero converges to zero if uh, for all absolute r less than one which implies that if this r is bounded between negative one and one so if r is bounded between negative one and one this thing holds that the sequence converges all right now we need to prove this thing here so again if we say that uh, so we can write this as r power n minus zero is less than epsilon by using the definition of the limits and then r power n less than epsilon and since this r ranges from negative one to one so no need to uh, remove the mod sign but take the power over the mod sign and apply natural log on both sides so this will be n ln r less than ln epsilon so n now this ln r is between negative one and one since it's mod on the r so it will be it will be always positive so we can say that mod of r is less than one so one is excluded so any bit value between zero and one uh, and we take if you take ln natural log of any value between zero and one it's negative since it will change the inequality of sign because this ln r is negative now this if you consider this because now this thing is uh, finite so n naught is equals to ln e over ln r 
therefore this thing is finite every time because uh, everything uh, we are going to get here is some finite number only for zero we have ln zero equals infinity so in the denominator if it's infinity then it doesn't matter because something numerator divided by zero uh, infinity is zero so n is greater than zero yes of course so if r equals zero is the case then it's still we have n greater than ln epsilon over infinity that is greater than zero and it's fine that n is greater than zero because we have all the natural numbers greater than zero and otherwise it's ln mod r so it's fine then therefore we get by definition we get n greater than n naught that is uh, ln e ln epsilon or ln mod of r so this implies that this uh, 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 sequence r power n converges to zero all right, so this thing we have to prove here, and this is proved since. All right, in this manner, we can prove this uh, convergence of the given sequences. Let's take one more example. Say we have a limit n tends to infinity n power one over n equals to one. Now for this thing, we can do one thing that, uh, since this implies that uh, n power one over n uh, minus one is less than epsilon. All right. So what we can do here is we can say that, assume that a n equals n power one over n minus one. Therefore, it will be n plus one equals n to the power one over n. And if we multiply both sides by the power n, we are going to get n equals a n plus one to the power n. Now we can expand this a n plus one to the power n using the binomial theorem. So it will be one plus n a n plus n times n minus one over two factorial a n squared plus dot dot dot. Since we can write that n is greater than or equals to one plus n a n plus n times n minus one or two factorial a n square and we are neglecting the neglect uh, not actually neglecting but here we said that since n is great here it was equal because there are a lot of terms here right but now we remove these terms so n will be greater because now n will be greater because of because of the removal of these terms so now we can say that n is strictly greater if I take n times n minus one over two a n squared, because we again remove these from, so now it will be strictly greater. So this n n cancels, we are left with two is greater than n minus one times a n squared, which implies that two over n minus one is greater than a n squared, okay? So now we can say that a n squared is less than two over n minus one. And also it's greater than zero for all n greater than equals to two. Okay, because when this n is greater than equals to two, um, uh, this is uh, okay. So for n greater than equals to two, this is two over n minus one, and a n square is less than this thing. But a n square is also greater than zero because a n square 
will always be positive because of this square. So it will be it will be positive always because of the square. So we can see that this a n square is bounded uh, between these two numbers, right? Now, since a n square is less than the sequence 2 over n minus 1, and we know that this sequence 2 over n minus 1 converges to 0, so this implies that a n a square converges to 0, or simply this a n converges to 0. If you take a square root, it doesn't matter if we take a square root on both sides here like this, and this implies that a n is less than uh, 2 over square root 2 over n minus 1. Again, this square root of uh, 2 over n minus 1 goes to 0 as n tends to infinity. So by this, we have shown that this sequence is convergent. So in this manner, we can work out for the sequences to show that the sequences are convergent. And in the next classes, we will come up with some more theorems that are sandwich theorem, squeeze theorem, uh, so that uh, the concepts will be more clear. So that's all for the time being. Thanks for watching the lesson.